for all my buff ass rabbits out there in gangs land that's with a Z. And I got another question, Play. I be getting this. I think it's a miscommunication. Uh, some, it's some motherfucking information out there on the web that's not necessarily accurate. In my bro opinion. Okay? Quick disclaimer. I've said it before and I say it again. I'm not in the Bible. I'm not a plumber. I'm not the mayor. I'm not a sheriff. I don't fly jet airplanes and I don't race in NASCAR. I'm just a bro. I got a lot of experience with the rabbit skittles. And I'm just giving you my mother motherfucking opinion for what it's worth. With that said, if you just Google SARMs, right? Just, just type in SARMs. You get a lot of good information. And you also get some bullshit, especially on YouTube, man. YouTube is full. I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I'm just saying from my personal experience, see? It's a lot of cats out there giving some shit out and they ain't tried it. It's kind of like a motherfucker, you know, speaking at an AA meeting and he ain't never had a drink. It's like, you ain't qualified. That's why your best pastors and preachers are the ones that used to be fucked up when they was younger. Because they've been there. Even Jesus himself came down and walked in our shoes before he could pass judgment. So he can say he did it. So we know we can. Anyway, I digress. Now, Psalms been around for a long time, play. They're not just brand new. Back in the 1940s, scientists was fucking around with the uh, testosterone molecule, and they and they and they, they, they was they was fucking around with it because they had patients who, like we all know, were bedridden, had cancer, had other uh, uh, illnesses, and they needed to maintain muscle mass. So they came up with this, right? So it's been around for a little while, so it's nothing new. So to all you young cats that think the latest and greatest thing is sorry, no, what happened is just, it just everything's, it's in a cycle, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, next week somebody might be wearing bell bottoms and shit, who knows, right? But anyway, it's a lot of cats out there telling you if you want to lose weight, if you want to cut fat, get on a SARM. That ain't necessarily true. If you're fat, start with, well, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say fat. Let's, let's make it politically correct. If your bunny's fluffy, if your bunny's fluffy to start with, I think the last thing you want to do is jump on some LGD, jump on some um, RID 140, jump on some of the more of the bulking stacks, because you're going to get bigger. See, so I took my time and I read some papers. A way that the SARS maintain muscle and stop deterioration is that they promote body weight. I mean, body weight, right? In the form of of muscle deterioration. If that makes sense to you. In other words, on my last time I was on, I put on like damn near 12 pounds. But it was 12 pounds of lean mass and muscle for most part because I'm lifting also. Right? I got cat hit me up, and, and and that's all just to get to this. Cat me up, and he was like, you know, and, I, and I'm a, I'm gonna kind of summarize this email. He goes, you know, um, he says, uh, my yellow six foot five wing baron saber tooth uh, hairy poodle. God damn, bro, you you got a ooh hairy poodle. I ain't never heard that. It's two hundred and eighty seven pounds. I need to lose weight. What SARM should I take? Now, first of all, that's just a really generic ass question. Fuck, I don't know, man. I think the first thing you might want to do is put down the ding dongs. But I digress. I'm sorry. First thing you got to do with anything. First thing you got to do with anything. I'm talking from experience, just going through, and I'm, and I'm gonna tell you why. Is you got to get that diet straight. That's off the top. Now I don't want to make the videos too, 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 too long. I gotta cut this because I talk a lot. I talk a lot, man. Anyway, if you're big to start, what what you want to do if you're gonna run any summers, you want to get your diet straight, and then you want to lean towards. And I, and I wrote this down for you. You want to lean towards the S fours. You want to lean towards the SR 9009s. You want to lean towards maybe the GW and maybe the oxygen for cutting, right? So, so we're going we're gonna to run this down. This might be a little long, and, and, and I'm going to tell you what I read him. Because everything else is going to put on mass. 
And if you're already big, it's no need in putting no mask on top of a big frame because you're just going to look larger. What you need to do, what I recommend do, is get rid of the body fat. Cut your body fat. Then you jump on that LGD. Then you jump on that RD140. Then you actually see your gains, man. Because I got a lot of cats saying this shit ain't working. Shit ain't working, man. I, you know, I ain't putting on no muscle, but they fluffy to start with. You just fluffy her. Your muscles underneath all that fat. It's like everybody had abs. Like I was at the gym last night, man. And uh, I don't mean talk about nobody, but some big girls, man. And they were killing themselves doing crunches. And I wanted to say, baby girl, baby bunny, 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 hold up. You can do crunches until you're 95. You ain't gonna ever see an ab until you lose that 10 pounds of belly fat. You just gonna have a strong ass core with a fluffy ass stomach, if that makes sense to you. Got to lose the fat. Got to cut the fat. That's why after I ran my so I was never really big, but I, I was I, I, I was soft. I'm soft. I, I, I had a, a a a bouncer look to me where I'm just broad and big, and I want to be cut more, right? But I know that my body can hold more muscle mass. So I went on the LGD with Marty 40, and I put it on. You can see I recomp my body. Now I'm going on a cut. Now for this cut, I'm gonna hit the. I'm doing intermittent fasting, and I got a six-hour eating window, right? And at some point. During this fast, I'm going to throw in a little GW. And I'm also running right now a PCT because I want to maintain my gains, right? So I am running a little something along with the cut just to maintain the gains because with any cut, you're going to lose muscle. And I'm trying to minimize that as much as possible. But I digress. All right. So for this guy here, what I recommend you doing is get your diet straight. Now, I said it before, I'm sick and I got 100 videos playing. You can go back and look, man. Now, S4, there's a protocol for it, and there's there's possibly some side effects of having a little vision problems here, but it doesn't last too long. See a little yellow in the vision. If you're willing to deal with that, and you said you were in the email for cutting. Here's the bunny, here's the protocol I'll run with my bunny if I was you. S4 for six to eight weeks. All right, at, um, what did I tell you what I think for you? at 50 milligrams a day all right shown to uh, increase uh, your body metabolism and for burning fat but this is all with a good diet and you busting your ass in the gym okay MK266 Ostrin all right we're gonna run that for cutting at 15 to 20 milligrams a day for eight weeks Okay. And GW at 25 milligrams a day, but keep in mind GW is not a SARM. We're gonna run that for 12 weeks, and GW is good uh, for oxidizing fatty acids, simulating muscle glucose uptake, which is great for burning fat and creating lean muscle. Those three together with a good diet and busting your ass in the gym, you'd be okay, man. Remember, man, I'm not a doctor. Like, subscribe, share. If you want to ask a question, hit me below and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your support. And this shit ain't for you to consumption, but it looks good on you. Peace. Bible. So unless you train with something that has four legs, ears, and eat rabbit piddles and rabbit skittles, this shit ain't for you. But if it is, check you next time. Peace.